Hey guys, Chauncey Phillips with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shop video today. Thank you to go out today, see things come out today, see things on sale. Now today though, new release-wise, some of the big things that are coming out, where well, the big, really big thing is Ghostbusters Afterlife. And with that one, I know there's a, a number of different retail exclusives. I saw that there's like a, a box set with all the movies, and I don't know if that's one that's like only online or on Amazon or something like that for that particular one. And I think there was other exclusives. For some reason, I didn't pay attention as good as I should have. But I feel like that there was at least, um, there might have been a steelbook. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I'm kind of going in blind with um, the additions for this one. I did not check as good as I should have. But I know that there's additions. I know The main one I saw was the collection that had all of them together. That was the main one that I had have seen. Uh, the pictures and everything online. Other than that, though, I know one of the other things that comes out today is the Clifford the Big Red Dog movie. That releases today. There's also a handful of other things as well. And, and you know, I didn't get to go out last Tuesday. So a couple things that came out last Tuesday as well that I can show as well in the video. Also, though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. Some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. And as always, too, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that are reviewed. If you guys seen them, what you guys thought of, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And sorry, last Tuesday I didn't have a, you know, a shopping video or anything like that. I just ended up putting up, like, you know, the, one of those ones where I was showing what was, you know, released on, like, um, Blu-ray.com and the digital bits and stuff like that. Because if you guys didn't see, uh, last week, you know, for, for six days I was working on my new film that I was co-directing with Lauren Francesca called Woods Witch. I would put some pictures in and stuff like that you guys can see uh, throughout and everything, but had an amazing time on this one. There should be a trailer coming soon probably in the next like week or so and then I'm also going to be announcing soon too uh, what the next movie that me and Lauren are going to be directing together soon as well and we're going to do like a uh, Indiegogo for that one because I haven't done Indiegogo in a while for a project so we're kind of going to do that for the new one to kind of open it up for more people and stuff like that but really excited for you guys to see Woods Witch like we had such an amazing cast in that one and like we got so lucky with the people that we had on it and it was just I think it's gonna be a really really fun uh, movie I, like I said I cannot wait for you guys to see it and everything and I'll definitely let you guys know as soon as the trailer's up and all that kind of stuff as well for the film so we'll take a look here in the front and I'm not seeing anything new I felt like they would have had like um you know the new Ghostbusters movie I felt like that would have been one of the ones that they would have had in the front today promoting but we'll see though I feel like this is one of the ones that there probably be like maybe a standee or something for at least at Walmart I'm expecting to see some kind of a standee for this one and everything but we will see we'll head over to the actual section though and you know see what's over there and fingers crossed they have this stuff out over there but we shall see yeah, well, it's not looking good. You can see, like, the bad news. Like, it's all empty. Everything is, like, the spots are there. So you can see, like, Ghostbusters Afterlife DVD, uh, $19.99. Blu-ray, $24.99. 4K is $29.99. And then there's, like, a, I guess this is, like, a Ghostbusters, the original one. So, like, a re-release for that. The spot for Clifford's there. Like I said, all this stuff is here. But, you know, nothing was, nothing was put out or changed out or anything like that, though. But we maybe will go to another Target as well, just in case. Cases. Like I said, I don't know if there's any exclusives for the for this one though, so we might go to another one just to see though. And guys, it's kind of funny. Like I was looking at like Ghostbusters Afterlife on Blu-ray.com, and I think all this talk about it, I don't even know if there are any exclusives of it. I know there was that one that had all the movies, which I think was Amazon, which I don't know for sure if that was right, but I don't feel like there are any exclusives of it. I think I might like have imagined it that there are like steelbooks and stuff. I don't think that I don't think that there are. We'll see in Best Buy, but I don't believe so. But into Walmart we go. But we're going to head back and see if they have any of the stuff out. This location, like last time around, like two weeks ago, had everything out. But like just from peeking now, I'm seeing it's not looking so good. That guy's got bad news, too. It's like, it's not, like literally all empty. But you can see all the spots for it all again. Like this, these were all odor stuff. So this wasn't the new ones. Let's see on the side here. Yeah, you can see all the stuff for Afterlife here. And I don't see anything exclusive for it. This random Twilight thing here. But yeah, there's the Clifford, all the spots for it. It's like today's one of those days when you're like seeing all the spaces and like nothing is out. Uh, but other than that though, like in here too, some of the other stuff like that were newer, like Spine of Night, that one have been a newer one. Handler, uh, Slumber Party Massacre, that was one of the ones that came out today, the remake. Um, 
I think Fortress, that one's already been out. But we're gonna go to another Walmart though, so hopefully that location will have out all the stuff and everything. There's some newer ones too that came out in the last couple of weeks, like uh, My Bloody Birthday, that was a more recent one. Uh, I showed that one, A Unique Grave recently. I'm trying to see if there's anything else mixed in. This Alpha Rift, I don't think I've shown that one before. You know, I think that was one of the other ones that was more recent. But other than that though, I don't see anything else different. I think I wanted to show too, they had these, um, was it the slip covers over here that I saw? Like a couple different ones? I saw them somewhere. I don't know if it was this location or not. These were like vintage like slip covers on these ones for like um, Willy Wonka and stuff like old school style uh, post artwork on these ones. But I, th I think I saw some other ones over here. Like, oh yeah, these were the other ones that I saw. Some of these I think were new down here. There was like, um, I know I've seen some of these before, like the John Wick ones, but I don't remember like this Escape Plan one, the Rambo 5 movie collection, uh, Anna, Robin Hood, Sicario. Like some of these ones I definitely do not remember seeing uh, before. I've seen these ones before. Uh, these ones, these were out like about a month or so back, but I know, like I said, I know a couple of these ones in here mixed in were new ones. Other than that though, I think that was all the main different things that I wanted to show. It's just too bad there's not, nothing at all out on the shelves today, but we're, like I said, we're gonna go to another Walmart, and um, I don't know about another Target since there's no exclusive, but definitely another Walmart though, and fingers crossed, hopefully that one will have, you know, all the, uh, the stuff out. Into Walmart we go. Well, it looks like this location has out all the stuff because I can tell from right here, I'm seeing the things on the shelf. So this is really good. So at least I was like kind of worried today. I was like, am I gonna go everywhere today and like have no luck seeing anything? Uh, now with the Ghostbusters movie, the new Afterlife one, I have not actually gotten to see this one yet. I haven't been to the theaters in for, like forever since like the hunt. So it has been forever since I've been to the theaters. I should be getting a copy of this one uh, soon to review. Really, really looking forward to watching it. Like I, I, I cannot believe I haven't seen it yet. Like I've seen all the Ghostbusters movies in theaters so it's just sort of weird to have not seen this one uh, but I'm like I said I'm definitely gonna be checking it out I'm really surprised that there weren't exclusives I felt like there would have been this they're like advertising a thing for like the pizza but it's not like a coupon or anything for it but it's a uh, $27.99 for the 4k $22.99 for the blu-ray and then uh, $17.96 for the DVD and also like I was mentioning Clifford that one released today and it's weird a lot of these ones don't seem to have the slip covers it's $22.99 for the blu-ray $14.96 uh, for the um, DVD. There's also a three pack here. Now, this is not the one I was mentioning that had the um, uh, all of them together. There's another one like in this big box set I saw, but this is, you know, um, one that has all three of the movies together for $32.99 on Blu ray and then $24.90. Now, I keep saying $99, it's $96 for the DVD version. And they also have this uh, Office Complete series here, which is a new one. It's basically the same edition that they've had, but they put like a gigantic slipcover on it so that's kind of cool i've never seen a slip cover that big on one of these ones um one of the other things that came out today oh this i i didn't know this was coming out today uh this one released today this one here um uh deadlock i don't know if there's a blu-ray of this one or not uh this one has kelly Ryder who um was just in my film Woods Witch. I definitely want to see this one. I have to look up and see if there's a Blu-ray or not for this one. Like I said, I do not know for sure. It kind of, this one kind of came out of nowhere. I did not know this one was releasing, um, but let's see if there's anything else randomly on here on the side. I'm not seeing anything else here. Let's see. Like I said, I definitely have to look that one up and see when that one exactly released. And then taking a look here on the side here, I see some other stuff. There's a bunch of stuff in here today. Um, this one here, this one called the um, Handler here. I don't know anything about this one. This one here, and then there's one here called um, Jack and Jill, which is another one. I feel like I remember seeing this one releasing a while ago or something about this one. Something like that. I have to look this one up. This one definitely looks interesting too. I might get this one. This is $9.96. Uh, one of the other ones I was mentioning that was today though was the Solar Party Massacre, which is the uh, remake one uh, that, you know, um, Shot Factory released this one. That one came out today. And I know there's a Blu-ray as well. Uh, Spine of Night, that was one of the other ones that came out today. That one's $9.96 for that one. And there is a steelbook of this one, a 4K steelbook and a Blu-ray. Um, I mean, I know a 4K steelbook. Let's see. 
Birds Like Us. I think all these other ones were all the past couple of weeks. Let's see if there's anything else mixed in over here. As far as I can tell, I don't see anything else random in here. Wild Shot, that was one of the ones that was like, I think a week or two back. Uh, Lantern's Lane was a week or two back. But yeah, other than that though, they do have this one here, this um, Bloody Birthday one. I don't think I showed the back of this one. This one kind of looks interesting as well. I don't know if I'll get this one or not, but this is one of the other ones that I don't think I showed before. But other than that, like I said, I don't see anything else different mixed in or anything like that as far as I can tell. But this is always the best location I've noticed for them having stuff out. This one usually is the best one. Yeah, so I end up getting in there the um, that you know, the deadlock one in here. Like I said, I'm really interested in seeing that one because, Kelly, like I said, Kelly's in the movie. And, uh, you know, Jared Cohn uh, directed the movie as well. And I worked with him. Uh, you know, in the movie The Valley Drowner and uh, Devil's Domain in the past as well. So definitely look forward to us, uh, like, to seeing this one. And for what I could tell, there isn't a, um, a Blu-ray for this one, only a DVD. Because sometimes with um, Paramount stuff, they do, like, down the line. Not, not, it's not necessarily a burn on demand, but it's, like, kind of like a produce on demand where it's a press disc. And they sometimes do that later after the fact. So they might end up down the line, like, a month or two from now, do, like, one of those ones for this. I don't know for sure. But still, like I said, really wanted to see this one. Uh, and luckily enough, this location is always, like I said, really good for the most part with having this stuff out. This one is always, at least lately, the past couple months has been the best one. As, as you can see too, this one too, I feel like too, has the largest selection. So they're able to order more stuff and they have more, some of the more obscure stuff that not all the other locations always get. But now they're gonna head to um, Best Buy and we'll see if anyone has that, um, you know, um, limited edition uh, Ghostbusters thing. And I feel like I said, I don't, that might've been an Amazon exclusive thing. Cause when I looked on Amazon, it wasn't even available anymore uh, to buy or it was sold out or something like that. But like I said, we're head to Best Buy now and fingers crossed, hopefully they have all this stuff out over there though. Into Best Buy we go. But we're gonna head back and see. Like I said, for some reason I kept thinking that there was like exclusives for this Ghostbusters one, but I think I might've been totally wrong about it. And I only saw the one you know, uh, like a limited edition type thing. Uh, but they do have the Wrecking for a Dream uh, Best Buy Steelbook one here for $19.99 for that one. Let's check on the other side. Like I said, I wasn't in Best Buy last week too, so I missed a lot of this stuff. I don't think last week a ton of things came out though. But they have Ghostbusters Afterlife here for $26.96 here. Uh, $29.99 for the Blu-ray. And then they have the three-pack here, you know... Um, so $29.99 for the 4K, and then they have the three-pack with all the movies together. They don't have that exclusive one, though. Like I said, I, that must have been Amazon or something like that here. Uh, this is one of the other ones that came out today, the Almost Famous uh, 4K. Uh, that I believe that was today. Let's see if there's anything else mixed in down here. I'm not seeing anything else new here, as far as I can tell. Let's see if there's anything right around this spot. And then no slipcover on the uh, Clifford either. It's very weird. I saw someone post a picture of it that had a slipcover. So I don't know if it's only certain places have the slipcover on it or not. Um, but uh, Ultraman, the uh, Chronicle, that one released today. Uh, and then this is the other one I was mentioning, the 4K here of the movie Spine of Night. Uh, that one is $19.99 for this one. It's a 4K steelbook for that one. But other than that, though, let's see if there's anything else mixed in here. No, as far as I can tell, it doesn't look like anything else different or new here from what I can tell. So anyway, though, guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday uh, shopping video today. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, though, in the comments below, though, let me know, you know, anything new that you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. If you guys, you know, ended up picking up anything new today. Also, let me know anything new that you guys have been watching on streaming, and, you know, any new TV shows or any new movies or anything like that you guys have seen lately. Like I said, I have been so out of the loop on things. I really do think I'm probably going to start trying to go back to the theaters again. Maybe like theaters that are not really popular or something like that. Because I, I, I'm not going to lie, I seriously miss not being able to see stuff. I was like talking to my brother and was like, it just sort of sucks like not seeing Scream and not seeing all these things, all these things and stuff like that. So I definitely do miss, like, like not everything I would have to see in theaters, but it did suck not seeing Ghostbusters in theaters and not seeing Scream and, you know, how, you know Halloween and all these certain things that I really want to see. So I definitely have got to start to do that again uh, at some point. I've just been really careful because of the movies and stuff like that too. So I've just been really cautious and all that kind of stuff. 
especially in the last movie. I was so cautious on that one. But anyway, though, guys, like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, definitely give us a thumbs up. And also, too, let me know anything new that you guys have, um, you know, that I reviewed. Uh, you know, let me know what you guys thought of the stuff that I reviewed, the DVDs, Blurries, and 4Ks, if you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, though, guys, now stay tuned for the brand new reviews. And the first one we got here is from Shot Factory Screen Factory Line. It's just a uh, post-apocalyptic zombie film here called Live or Let Die. I thought this one was actually pretty good. This is basically, though, about this guy who's, you know, surviving out in this zombie. Uh, you know, you, you know that some kind of uh, thing has happened and basically all these people have gotten sick and it's, you know, zombies going on and everything. It's essentially him out there trying to survive. And it's pretty much him out there, but then it's him, you know, go, you know surviving with this other person that he comes across and kind of trying to figure out exactly what he's going to, going to do and all that kind of stuff as well. But I thought out of all the zombies, ones you know recent times i thought this is actually one of the better ones uh recently like i said this one here is called live or let die uh, the next one here this is from um lion's gate this is a really cool uh brand new uh steelbook exclusive steelbook release of the film la la land it's a 4k ultra hd exclusive steelbook and i don't know if this one i cannot remember if this is a target or um best buy exclusive one for this one but this one i really love the way lion's gate is doing these steelbooks because they all come off like this and then underneath you see like the, i don't know I, I love the way that they're designed they're all kind of like this where you see like a different image underneath like this when you take the slip cover off here's a look though at the back for this one but this one is really really well designed out of all the ones uh recently from them i would say this is probably one of the best ones uh in recent times here's a look though inside here at, i'll take the discs up so you guys can see as well but i really like this movie uh you know this one of course was nominated for best uh picture but it, you know um uh you know what was it uh moonlight one which i really loved moonlight uh, i i liked uh la la land as well but i would say out of between both of them i like moonlight a little little bit better but this one though i really did like this movie a lot really great music and everything this one of those movies too a couple things that happen in the movie you're like man i wish they didn't go in that direction but i really did like that movie a lot the uh, next one here is a film uh you know it stars bruce willis uh called fortress which i thought this was a pretty interesting movie with, with, with bruce willis it's basically though he's like hiding out and it's kind of like, um, it's, it's sort of like a retirement community for people that have like been like government officials or have been like undercover or things like that. So basically people that are kind of high profile people that are in like a retirement community that have to kind of be protected and things like that. And essentially though, his son comes to see him and then it ends up being like the, the, the basically his son ends up getting followed and this one bad guy is trying to come after Bruce Willis's character. So it becomes this whole big thing about like this guy trying to get in there and then it's kind of this whole big night nightmare situation though but i thought it's actually a pretty good one here like i said this was called a uh, fortress uh, the next one here this is one that i think ended up like premiering on like epics or one of those streaming services or pay services first because originally it was going to have like a th theater release and i don't know if it did end up having like a theater release or not and it's interesting too that a24 uh and i wanted to make sure to mention that is i don't know if they're going to do this for everything but they're starting to sell things exclusively on their website so that movie lamb uh which is coming out from them that's going to be you know you can buy that exclusively on their website so i don't know if that's going to be the new norm is a lot of a24 stuff is only going to be on their websites or not but this is a movie here like i said that i remember hearing about this one a lot uh right before you know the theaters and everything closed and all that kind of stuff this is one of those ones i remember seeing a trailer to a lot called saint maud but now it finally has a physical release I, I i just got the review copy of this one now i think it's been out for like a month or so uh this is a very very creepy movie it's one of those very slow burn movies about this nurse uh, and she kind of has like a lot of like her own type of things going on this woman who's this this nurse and has a lot of this very deep religious beliefs and all these type of beliefs and everything and essentially though when she goes there to take care of the um, person that she's taking care of like it's sort of like weird sort of things start to happen and it becomes this whole it's very hard to explain but it's a really really well done very creepy slow burn film really glad though that this one now has a physical release but like i said i don't know if uh a24 now is going to go in the direction of you you have to get the stuff in on their website now more or we're going to still you know still see things in stores it's going to be kind of selective on which ones they do and don't release I, that i don't know uh but on here though it has a commentary track on here with the director as well as a featurette here on here on the film the other one here is from Lionsgate as well this is a new movie which stars danny trejo called american sakari sakari i believe that's how you say this i, I think i'm always saying this one wrong I, lo I love the cover on this one the way this one is designed and this is basically though about a drug lord who's an american drug lord in mexico and it's essentially though i believe it was a true story or like based on a true story in a sense but it's basically though about this american drug lord who's over there and it's basically people are kind of trying to come after him and it becomes this 
whole big thing about like the Americans coming after him and then like the Mexicans coming after him and it's this whole this whole big thing. It's very hard to explain, but it was an interesting kind of different take on like the drug lord films and everything. This one has though a commentary track on here. Um, it also has on here though some featurettes on the film here uh, as well. The next one here, this is an interesting film, a really pretty cool animated movie here. Uh, this is from RLJ Entertainment, and this is I believe this is on. I don't know if it aired on Shutter. I think yeah, I think it actually is a Shutter original as well. And this and this one is a 4K edition here, a 4K steelbook of the film called The Spine of Night here. And this one, you know, um, has voices on here like Joe Mangiano here, um, Pat Oswalt. I'm always saying Joe Mangiano's name is totally wrong. But this is an interesting movie. It's like kind of like medieval time, kind of like futuristic kind of look. It's very hard to explain, but super like ultra violent, really, really cool animation in this one. Definitely would recommend you guys check this one out here. Like I said, this has the 4K uh, you know, version of the film, but also has the 4K as well as a Blu-ray copy of the movie as well. But a really cool uh, steelbook for this one here. Uh, but on here, though, feature-wise, this one has, though, uh, the making of The Spine of Night, as well as the Idram and Mongro short films as well on this one here. Like I said, this one here is called The Spine of Night, but a very, very cool steelbook release for this one. The next one here is from Paramount, and this is uh, cl the, you know, the... Um, and every time I remember, I, I talk about the movie with Martin Short that I always love. Martin Short and Charles Grodin called Clifford. People always think that I'm like talking about this, but I was talking about that movie. But this is Clifford the Big Red Dog. You know, it's um you know the live action version. The original series of this, I cannot remember when that when that started. I think it was like ninety four or something like that when the original animated series of this one started. But this is basically though about this girl who kinda has a you know a dream that the dog would be bigger and everything and basically it ends up becoming this gigantic dog that she has to take care of and everything. It's a very fun movie. Definitely much more for kids and everything. But you know Keenan is in here, you know Keenan Thompson has a role in here as well. So I thought that was really cool. There's a lot of cameos and stuff like that that, that pop up in the movie here uh, as well. But has on here though feature wise deleted scenes uh the magic behind the scenes on this one here uh as well the next one here is the newest film from you know um edgar wright which i was really interested in seeing it's, and this is a different kind of movie for him i would say out of the it, kind of in the line of baby driver but still a little different a little more of like a tarantino kind of feel to it a little bit that he has going on with this one uh it, but definitely not in the style though of like Shaun of the dead and hot fuzz it's much more a little much more serious in tone and everything this is um you you know, Last Night in Soho, which I keep on wanting to call it Late Night in Soho because I'm so dyslexic and I'm always, always mixing up the title and everything big time for this movie. But this is basically, though, about, you know... um uh, what was her actress's name? The one main, I, I was mixing up her name, but the main actress in here, um, it's basically though, she ends up going, not Anna Taylor Joy's character, but they, um, her character basically goes and ends up, um, I, I, don't have, I don't know how to say her name correctly, but basically she ends up getting this apartment and she ends up at night, like kind of dreaming and living vicariously in a, in a sense through Anna Taylor Joy's character and kind of back in time of this woman that goes to this club and kind of lives this elaborate lifestyle and things like that. So basically she kind of lives through this woman at, when she's dreaming, but then it's kind of making me think of a little bit of the movie The Mask. It's nothing like that, but it was kind of making me think of that a little bit. But basically like at night, you know, she does this, but then it kind of leads into this a whole lot of problems that come along with it but it's really 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 well done but this one has on here though uh, uh, deleted scenes on here uh it has also has behind the scenes on here uh as well on here but it looks great here on 4k but if you guys have not seen this one definitely would recommend you guys check it out uh the next one here this is from um from warner brothers and they sent over a free copy of this one to let you guys know that this one is available and this is the uh super girl here this is the complete um the se complete second season here of the show the one actress in here too was from the movie um you know uh the m newest ram I was a fan of uh, the newest Rambo series. But this one here, uh, you know, feature-wise on here, this has Never Alone Heroes and Allies. This has a gag reel on here, as well as Thank You, Georgia Supergirl, a featurette on this one here. But like I said, just want you guys to know that this one was available if you guys were a fan of the show Supergirl. I'll show you guys the look inside uh, as well for this one. It also has the digital code uh, for the show uh, as well. And the next one here is from uh, Paramount. And this is a cool a steelbook release here. For, and this is a movie that I remember this so well. And I don't know why I remember this so well, but I remember really well when this first released on VHS because I was a really little kid. And I remember like we pre-ordered it. I think it like... I think, I don't know what it would have been back in the day, like The Wall, or one of those places I remember pre-ordering it. I remember that so well. I remember, like, buying this. I think I was in, like, in a mall in, like, 
Pennsylvania or something. Like I said, it's a little kid, and I remember this so well. And this is uh, Wayne's World, which is one of those movies that I have seen so many times throughout the years. Uh, I feel like I've, I've not watched the second one enough, though. I've watched the you know the first movie a million times. The second one, very few times have I watched it. But I, I always absolutely love this movie. To me, it's like I I like I love like weird sort of characters you guys know like from this from back in the day when i did donna murph and like especially when you guys see the movies that i'm doing now i really like peculiar uh out there characters and everything and and um, wayne and garth were definitely like weird characters probably like some of the original weird characters for me them and then of course Pee Wee and Ernest. I don't know. I just always, <laughs> always really like weird characters. But this is a great, uh, really cool steelbook on here. It has different kind of quotes and stuff like that on here for this one. And the next one I got here is from RLJ Entertainment as well. This is actually another RLJ release. So I should have had that one next to the steelbook. But this is a movie here uh, called Superhost. And this is an interesting one because it's basically though, and I always am kind of creeped out about the idea of Airbnbs because I've stayed in some a couple times just for when I was doing film stuff. It's cheaper sometimes to stay there and sometimes it's better to have a kitchen and everything. But I always am convinced that the Airbnbs are like bugged and I'm convinced that there's cameras in there. And I, I don't know. I, I'm just sort of convinced of that. So they always creep me out as it is is uh and essentially though this is about a, this couple that are going and doing they do like youtube type videos going to airbnbs and like reviewing them and like kind of doing their takes on them and they go to the ones that are like the super hosts because when you go to rent things even film locations because you have to rent a lot i rent film locations lately for these movies they have certain ones that are like the super hosts where it's like the person is very responsive for getting back or the location has really 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 good reviews and things of that nature uh so basically like you, you look for that when you rent certain things so these, this couple goes and looks for super hosts that have these good reviews, and they basically do a documentary series interviewing these people, talking to them, seeing if they really are as good as they say they are with their reviews and stuff like that. So they end up going to do this, and of course, though, the woman is extremely strange, and it becomes this whole big thing uh, that's not so good about them running this place, but it was really, really well done. This one has a director's commentary track on here, behind the scenes of super hosts, shooting in a pandemic, bloopers, uh, super hosts, visual effects, behind the scenes photo op, and scaredy cat that's episode one and two on here uh, as well. And the next ones here, these ones are all from um, uh, from Vinegar Syndrome. And there's some really cool releases here to let you guys know are available. The first one, though, I just I went and rewatched this one again. I, I love this movie. I'm so glad this is now available on 4K. I think there's also one that has it is in a um, like a slipcase for this one as well. But this is the movie here called Dead Heat, which is a movie that stars Treat, Treat Williams and Joe Piscopo, which I've always loved this movie. They also shot some of this movie where they filmed the movie Biodome, which if you guys know me, I absolutely I obsess about that movie like in a, I, I don't know why I absolutely love Biodome so much like if that's one of those movies where if I could like live in a movie <laughs> that's one of them one of those movies I'd like to live in is Biodome. But this movie, though, they shot some of the, the locations of the, the weird building and stuff where, the, where they shot the movie Biodome, like, I think like six or seven years later after this one. But basically, though, um, this is essentially about these two cops who go to this weird building. They get a call about something weird that had happened. And Joe, uh, Trent, Trent Williams' character ends up getting killed and it gets brought back to life because there's like a weird building where they're doing experimentations of bringing back the dead and everything. And he gets brought back to dead, back from the dead and they have to figure out what they're going to do. And it becomes this whole crazy thing. And it's one of these movies too. If you guys are fans of stuff like Reanimator, Videodrome, um, a lot of those weird things like body horror and weird kind of like, creatures coming back to life and just strange stuff like that this is one of those ones i re really re really recommend you guys check out has on here though a comedy track on here with the screenwriter it has on here though um an interview on here with the editor a brand new interview on here with the composer uh deleted scenes on here archival featurettes on here but it looks great here on 4k like amazing job i clean this one up the other ones here that are from um Vinegar Syndrome. Now, some of these ones are from their partner labels, like this one here, Girlfriend from Hell, which has a great uh, slip cover on this one. This is one of those ones I remember really well from back in the day, like hearing about, because this one has on here, um, Dana Ashbrook, you know, who's from Twin Peaks. He also was in, um, you know, um, the Willies in a small part. I was thinking from the the Willies too. But this is this is a really really fun movie about basically about this woman that gets gets possessed by the devil. But a really really fun movie. I, and I'm really glad that Vinegar Syndrome is putting out some of these really cool like they, like I said they're doing a lot of partner label releases. So they're putting out a lot of really obscure cool obscure stuff. Uh, this one has a comedy track on here with the director, interview on here with the producer on here, a music video on here, cast audition footage on here, uh, re remastered original trailers on here for the film. Uh, you know as well. Uh, 
Uh, the other one here, and this is one that I always really like that you don't hear about from our, from Dario Argento very much, which um, Azure Argento starred in. And this is from 1993. Like I said, this one you do not hear about very often called Trauma. And this one, they sent the one that has the um, slipcover on this one. This is a really cool, like, giallo one that I uh, I always really liked a lot. And that's the one, like I said, you don't hear about it very much. Really, really cool music in this one here as well. This one has uh, lots of different features. It's like Pino D'Angelo, you know, did the um, music. And he did the music in uh, Body Double and a bunch of different stuff. Uh, this one has an interview on here with the director. It has an interview on here with the special effects artist Tom Savini. Uh, interview on here with the composer on here. Uh, actor interviews, Conte tracks on here with the author and historian uh, on set here with Tom Savini. That was one thing that was cool. So Tom Savini always would do behind the scenes stuff, uh, you know, from his shoots and stuff like that. And I always remember too at one convention, uh, someone was selling Tom Savini's like you know bootlegs of his. Um, uh, those those VHS tapes that he used to have that were like showing examples of effects and stuff. And I remember he like went, went up to the person's table, took those those bootlegs and said, you're not selling those. And then he took them and put them on his table and started selling them. Uh, the other one here uh, from Vinegar Syndrome as well is a movie here called Curfew. And this is a really crazy, you know, um, about these two guys that got put on death row and they ended up getting, you know, escaping and going and getting revenge on the people that put them in there. Uh, this one has on here though, uh, interviews on here with the actor Wender Wellman, uh, interview on here uh, with the editor on the film theatrical trailer on this one here and this is a movie which i love which i'm so glad now has a blu-ray and hopefully they put out like uh, video violence and like witcher massacre cannibal camp like i'm hoping to see more stuff like that you know coming out now and this is from vinegar syndromes and this is from their partner label terror vision so hopefully terror vision will put out some of those ones and this is a movie here called killing spree which is a movie directed by tim ritter and the, the most surreal thing too was the actor in here you know asbestos you know felt who is the killer in this one i remember he was acting in the movie that I was in years ago called Girls Gone Dead and it was like this real surreal thing to, to see him because I was just like a huge fan of that, of that movie and everything uh, but this is basically this guy whose like wife is cheating on him and he goes crazy and goes on this killing spree and it's a really fun movie if you guys have never seen this one it's an absolute um, positive must watch on here this one has a brand new upscale transfer from the original 80, uh, 1987 video negative on here has a commentary track on here with the director brand new interview on here with Asbestos Felt and Tim Ritter on here a still extensive still gallery it has a brand new documentary on here as well uh trailer on here for the film has an interview on here with joe winecoop here who i've i've done uh his movies the Cragland incident i filmed some stuff recently for that film uh the other one here from vinegar syndrome is a movie here which is a one of those kind of crazy like um medieval not medieval but like um caveman type movies those really violent crazy caveman movies that they made a lot of back in the day and this is one here called master of the world and this is an attack Italian one here. They made a lot of these type of movies. These are always very fun movies. This one is newly restored, restored in 4K from its original 35 millimeter negative on here. Has an interview on here with the assistant director. Interview on here with the writer and director on here. Uh, a theatrical trailer on here. Uh, as, so it's an interview with the biographer of the white writer director on here. Uh, on this one. And the other one I wanted to make sure to mention was available as well. This is from Ultra Innocence. Uh, this is a movie here called Pals here. And this one here uh, has a theatrical trailer and trailers for other uh, Ultra Innocence releases, uh, you know, on this one. The next ones here, these ones are all from, uh, both from Kino Larber, and this is a really crazy kind of like possession sort of exorcist type film here called The Antichrist. But, you know, this is from 1974. And, like, right after The Exorcist came out, they were doing, like, a lot of these kind of, like, possession movies, like, nonstop. And Italy, too, they did a lot of ones. Some of them, too, were so similar, I remember, that they even had to, like... It was kind of like with Jaws. When they were doing... After they did Jaws, there's a lot of, like, lawsuits for some of those, like, Italian ones because they were so similar, uh, the stories and stuff like that. Uh, and there was a handful of The Exorcist ones that right afterwards were very, very similar, like, to the point where they end up becoming sort of lawsuit materials. And this is a crazy possession one here, like I said, called The Antichrist. This one has on here, though, a featurette on here, uh, you know, with the director and co-writer on here, as well as composer on here, as a commentary track on here, film historian, a TV spot, the temper, uh, alternate cr opening credits, and it includes the English and Italian language version as well. Because, yeah, this movie is also called The Temper, is one of the alternate uh, titles uh, for this one here. And this one has a slip cover. And the other one here from... Um, 
Kino Larber is a movie here called Privilege. And this is kind of done like a doc. This is from the 60s. And it's like a documentary style about this, like this band and everything. Kind of like they did a lot of these kind of things back in the day that, that done kind of in this like sort of realistic kind of style about like the kind of a band and following around this band and kind of like what can go wrong and stuff like that. There was one that wasn't, that was very different than this, but I always really like called The Fan about like this fandom thing that goes really, really wrong. I always really like that one. This one has though a commentary track on here, a film story and Daniel Kramer as well as a theatrical and teaser trailer on, on this one. The next ones here are a whole bunch of different Australian releases, and there's, and there's some really, really cool ones here. The first one here, uh, and this is region free, and I'm really glad to have a physical copy of this. Uh, hopefully, because uh, right at the same time this started, they also put on uh, the Child's Play series. So hopefully that one gets a Blu-ray release soon as well. I'm sure that in the U.S. and stuff will come out and have a physical release. And if not, hopefully like another country or something puts it out, because I definitely want a copy of that for the shelf. But this is uh, Day of the Dead Season 1 here, which is, you know, they've made so many different like renditions of Day of the Dead throughout the years none of them have ever been like amazing because i feel like to me like the you know george romero's day of the dead is just so perfect and just everything about it was just to me so well done with the characters and just showing how bad things can go and like i don't know just everything about that movie the music and just kind of it was all like the music in that was kind of done like with this island kind of feel to kind of like show that that was kind of the the dream was to kind of get the hell out of that underground and get to the island i don't know it was, it was a lot of stuff you could really if you really pay attention to that had a lot of meaning behind all the things uh but all these other things are just kind of like the walking dead again do you know what i mean yeah, if you guys know what i'm talking about but it's kind of like sort of the same not exactly that interesting this one though i would say was a little bit better than some of the different um renditions of day of the dead and, and other ones that they've done because they did the nikanon one and the other ones so there's been other ones uh but this one i would definitely say is better though and this is a um how many episodes was this i think it was it's seven and a half hours though on here for episodes so it's 10 episodes for this one here uh and i'll show you guys a look a quick look inside here you know as well for this one but like i said really glad though to have physical copy and i do like the artwork on this one because it definitely has the look of the original film like and the way they kind of um drew this and the style to it and everything and the next one here is from Viavision as well. And this is a film here called Dr. Zerzargaro. I don't know if I'm saying this right. The mini series here. This is one that stars Kira Knightley and Sam Neill. And this is the, um, you know, the complete uh, mini series here. And this one has 70 minutes of cast interviews, photo gallery, and filmographies on this one. The next ones here, these are all uh, imprint film releases here to let you guys know that are available. And there's, you know, um, five different ones here. Now, this one, this movie always creeps me out. This is one called Let's Scare Jessica to Death. For some reason, this is one of those movies that I find very scary. And it's like just sort of weird sort of things and like this very slow burn. And th this type of movie scares me. I don't know why. It always does. But this one has on here, though, a uh, commentary track on here with the director, a commentary track with Kat Ellinger, author and editor-in-chief of Diabolic Magazine. Uh, commentary with film, uh, Kim Newman on here, uh, interview on here with the composer, scare tactics, reflections of, uh, seventies horror classics, uh, interview on here with film historian Kim Newman on here. There's a, uh, f a film locations then and now featurette on here as well, uh, theatrical, uh, you know, and TV spots on this one here. And what's cool too is they have like alternate artwork as well when you take them out of the cases. But this is, like I said, very, very creepy movie about this woman just kind of unraveling and kind of like falling apart. Uh, the other one here is the Medusa Touch here. And this one here uh, has um, on here a commentary track on here with the director on here, a commentary track with film historians, uh, video essay on here by Ian McNally on here, interview on here with the director, behind the scenes on here, theatrical trailer, photo gallery. This is another movie which I, I, I really can't watch this one very much because it literally scares me to death. And I don't know, something about this movie is a very hard watch because it's just so scary. And it's a movie here called Stir of Echoes. They made like a really bad sequel to this as well. They're like that no one really discusses or talks about at all. This is kind of around the time when they were doing like a lot of those like really strange direct video sequels. But this one was great. But it is so scary that I, it, you have to like prepare yourself to watch this one. And this one has a, on here a commentary track on here with the director, uh, interview on here with the director, here a brand new interview, interview on here uh, with actress Catherine Erbro, uh, interview on here with the production designer, featurettes on the film behind the scenes scene comparison screen test deleted scenes great movie just a hard hard watch just because it's so creepy another one here and i don't know if this one's available on on blu-ray in the u.s or not is the movie here that sam raimi directed here called the gift 
you know, as far as Clay, the Kate Blanchett, the Lanchette, uh, Keanu Reeves, Kate, uh, Katie Holmes is in here, Giovanna Ribisi, Hilary Swank. This one has on here, though, a commentary track on here with film historians, an interview on here with Chris, composer Christopher Young, a look back featurette on here, promotional interviews, theatrical trailers, TV spots on this one here. Uh, the other one here is Body Parts. This is the other one here from, um, uh, from Viavision's imprint films line as well. And this one has a commentary track on here with the director, commentary with film historians, interview on here with the director, interview with the editor on this one here, theatrical trailer. This is one I was really interested in watching too. This is, this is region free as well from Umbrella Entertainment. Uh, and this is, um, Slumber Party Massacre. This is the remake film. And this is one is a little different because it's much more like out in the cabin in the woods and everything like that. But I, I don't like it as much. The original one, it, it does, it does have like a throwback feel in some ways though, uh, to the original one. So I still did like it. It's just, it, it wasn't as cool to me as the original one. The original one I thought was really, really cool, uh, for this one, but definitely one of the better of, of the remakes and everything. And this like I said, Slumber Party Massacre. This is a movie which I always love too. I always like these like parody movies. And this is Mel Brooks movie, um, Robin Hood Men in Tights. This is one of those movies as a kid too. I mean, the amount of times that I watched this movie as a little kid, I rented this movie again and again and again. It's basically just a parody of Robin Hood. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. And if you guys have never watched it, it's definitely a must watch uh, movie. Uh, the other one here is from, um, I decided to cover up. This is called Sex and Zen. This is from Sensual Center, Center here. And this one has an interview on here with the uh, director as well as a theatrical trailer on this one. Uh, and these are, this is a fun two movie pack here from, um, Umbrella Entertainment as well, which has Stir Crazy and Hanky Panky on here, which is two different, you know, um, Gene Wilder movies, which are really, really fun, uh, movies. If you guys have never seen these movies too, like everything that Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor did together, I always loved. They were like, just like, if you need like something positive to watch, like those are really, really fun, positive movies. Uh, the other one here is a movie called The Devil's Playground. This is from, um, you know, Sunburnt Classics here. It's one I just wanted to let you guys know was available, as well as one here from Underground Entertainment called Puberty Blues, which I want to let you guys know was available here, you know, as well. And then these are ones here that are, these are from the World Cinema, uh, line here that they have. And there's two different ones. Uh, the one is Buena Vista Social Club here, and that has additional scenes at the actual trailer. And then the other one is, uh, Run, uh, Lola Run here. And that one has a commentary track on here with the director, as well as a still running featurette and a trailer on this one. And this is a movie which I always really liked. This is a Cronenberg movie. And I, I love Cronenberg's movies. It's like, either you really like his movies or you don't. There's kind of like no in-between with his stuff. I, I think The Fly is probably my favorite. But I, everything about his stuff, I like the look and the, the, the light. And I don't know, just like the style. It's very strange. It's like the kind of stuff that I really like. There's a movie here called Crash. And this is basically about people that kind of get like a sexual thrill on crashing cars. So it's kind of like they have this thing about it. And these dangerous kind of crashes that they're orchestrating and things like that. This one has on here the Cronenberg Challenge 2000 interview on here with the composer, uh, so, sorry, with the cinematographer uh, interview on here with director Jeremy Thomas on here, the Shore Thing interview on here with the composer, uh, interview on here with the casting director on here uh, as well. The other one from Umbrella Entertainment, and this is, everything is like kind of falling everywhere. There's like a lot of stuff because I didn't do any reviews last week, so there's like a lot of things to show. Is another one here. It's a retro double feature here, which has the Mole People and Land of Unknown here. Because so I want to let you guys know what's available here from Umbrella Entertainment as well. Now, the other ones here, uh, these ones are all from um, MovieZing.com. These are ones I want to let you guys know were available as well. And this is a movie, which I always love this film. I've talked about this movie a lot throughout the years. Hopefully, they put out a Blu-ray as well because Paramount's been putting out some of their stuff on Blu-ray. I saw they're going to be releasing soon Kids in the Hall Brain Candy. So hopefully this one will be soon on Blu-ray. I'm, you know, I'm just putting that out there. Uh, you know, uh, Paramount, this would be a good one for, for Blu-ray too. This is a movie here called Get Get Real, which I always really liked. And this is like probably one of the better, probably one of the best like queer cinema movies, I would say, in my opinion of like that there's been. And this is basically like, probably one of the top ones, that, or at least that you don't really hear about very often. This is basically about this guy that kind of is like struggling with kind of coming out and everything. And he, he doesn't really want to come out to his friends. And then it's like he ends up liking this one guy who's on the the track team. And it's kind of like he's a guy too that's the real like straight kind of guy uh, in the sports and things like that. And it's basically this sort of a struggle thing of how he's going to come out and tell this guy. And then like and the whole thing, it's it's really, really well done uh, movie. Really, you know, definitely one, if you guys have never seen this one, uh, one you would definitely would check out. Probably the other one that's the best too is uh, But I'm a Cheerleader. That's one of the other ones. And that recently came to Blu-ray. If you guys have never seen that one, that's really good as well. Now these ones are all from MoviesZing.com as well. And this is, um, 
you know, also from Tempe Digital. And these are ones I just want to let you guys know are available. And these are all like shot on video, kind of like 90s uh, ones here. There's a bunch of different ones here. The one is Galaxy of the Dinosaurs here. And these ones all have different features. They're all remastered and everything on these ones. The other one was um, Humanoids from Atlantis here. Uh, there's a uh, chick boxer here. Uh, the other one here was, um, you know, kingdom of the vampire and then, um, you know, zombie cop as well here. Like I said, these ones are all from like 91. Yeah. Basically all from 91 to 92. And they're all those real shot on video. Really, really fun ones. Like I said, just wanted to let you guys know that these ones were available. And the other ones here to let you guys know they were available as well. These ones are all from Mondo Macabro. And this one here is a movie called a uh, succubus here. And this one has on here though, a brand new 4k transfer on here the um the original trailers on here uh, interviews on here with the actor uh, the other one here is one called school of death and this one has a brand new 4k transfer on here uh on, it has a commentary track on here by Kat ellinger it has english and spanish audio choices on here uh the other one here was one called hiroko hiroko the goblin uh and this one has brand new 2k restoration on here interview with the director uh, audio commentary on here with author Tess Mess on here. Trailers for other Mondo Macabro releases. And then the other one here was The Laughing Woman here as well. Like I said, just want to let you guys know that these ones are all available. And this one has a brand new 4K transfer on here. Has a commentary track on here with Kat Ellinger. Interview on here with the writer-director on here as well. Uh, and these ones here are other ones too to let you guys know were available. These were from um, uh, 88 Films. And these are two different ones here that they have. This one is The Legendary Weapons of China. And this one here has, um, feature-wise, this one has a commentary track on here with Asian cinema expert Frank Tajin on here, commentary track on here, um, uh, another different commentary track, uh, interview on here with the producer on here, theatrical trailer, reversible sleeve on here, uh, and then the other one here was the movie The Flag of Iron here, and this one has, um, on here, a brand new commentary track on here with Asian uh, cinema expert Mike Leader and Arnie Verna on this one here. Newly translated English subtitles on this one. I'll show you guys though a look inside here as well for these ones. But it has like a poster artwork in here, uh, you know, for the movie. So it's like a double-sided uh, poster for the film. So that's very cool for this one. And it's really cool too that 88 Films has been doing uh, so much stuff in the U.S. Because they were always have been in the U.K. But only recently have started to release uh, their stuff, you know, uh, as you know, American releases and everything and here's a, there's a booklet in this one here uh and this also like i said has a um poster artwork as well a double-sided poster artwork for the film uh here uh you know as well and then the other one here i want to let you guys know that was available from um from trauma and this is a movie here called surf nazis must must die and i always remember this movie this is a very fun trauma one that you don't hear about as much as some of the other ones this is kind of the seldom talked about one i think this was from like 80 Eight, eight, 1987 was when this one was. And this one has an introduction on here with Lloyd Kaufman. Uh, interview on here with Peter George. A Radiation March promo. Deleted scenes on here. Scenes from Tromaville Cafe on here uh, as well for this one. And the last one here to let you, let you guys know was available as well is this one here called Marionette Land here. Uh, and this one has on here uh, deleted scenes, commentary, Q&A, and a trailer on this one. Like I said, just let, let you guys know that this one was available. Anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later.